Hello out there. This is Frank Ilo once again. In today's lesson, we shall be learning how to add the roof to your project. How to put a roof on your project. How do you add roof to your project? That is what we shall be looking at. In our previous or in our last lesson, we learned how to add the concrete fascia, which is what you are seeing now. The white uh, component you are seeing now is the concrete fascia. And that was what we learned in our last, last um, lesson. In today's lesson, let's just hit the ground running by going to the roof level again. 06 roof level, double click on it. When you double click on it, I normally hide this, what is it called? The concrete fissure. I normally hide it. So you click on it to hide it. You right click and go to hide in view. Select elements. It would hide. Once you have hidden that, go to architecture. Click on architecture. Then click on roof. When you click on roof like this, the next thing you do is you click on line. You can use line to draw around. Some people use peak line. But for me, it actually depends on the situation at hand. I can use line or I use peak line. Maybe sometime in the future, I will let you know how to use this peak line. But for now, I want to use the normal line because as a beginner, I think this one will be easier for you. So I click on this position. But before I click on this position, my roof is going to have an if. If, as in, it doesn't have to be on my wall directly. It has to be projected by 500 millimeters out of my wall. Why do I have, uh, why, why am I making my if 500 millimeters instead of 600 millimeters? Eves are usually 600 millimeters. But because my concrete fascia is 450 millimeters wide, so I al always add additional 50 millimeters out. So when you add 50 to 450 millimeters, it's going to give you 500 millimeters. So that is why my eve is going to be 500. So I go to offset and click here and type in 500. Then I come at this edge and click here and go like this and come here again. I'm going to go around this building like this. Just around the building. Around the building. And take notes, observe that as I'm going around the building, it is offsetting by itself. So when I get here, I would stop. Then I press escape. When I press escape, I come to this offset and make it zero. I don't want the last one, I'm, the last one I'm going to draw here, I don't want it to be offset. I want it to be directly on the wall. I'm going to draw the last one here. It is not going to be offset. Because our gable wall is here. The gable is here. So, and this, our, our roof is actually supposed to, to, to lap, to flush or to align with this gable wall. Because we are going to have our tank. This is our tank stand. The tank is going to be here. So once I have done this, I press escape. When I press escape, this wall or this side of the roof that is going to be joining or connecting to the gable wall, would not have any angle. If you click on this now, you will see the angle of this slope. The angle is 30, uh, 30 degrees. So it's not going to have anything. Every other one here, every other side of this roof, we have angles. But this one, just click on it and come here. Look on your screen. You are on your screen. You will see where it is written, define slope. Always uncheck. Currently it is checked, but I want you to uncheck it. Uncheck it. When you uncheck it, you now come here, finish edit mode, click on finish edit mode, your roof is set. Then you click outside on an empty space. Click outside on an empty space and go to your default 3D view and see how it looks like. You can see that this uh, the roof has a thickness that is not ideal. But before that, let's go to the south elevation to see how this roof is sitting on the let's see how it is sitting on the on the concrete fissure so i go to my south elevation 
you can see it is entering inside the concrete fascia. We're not, we can't even see the concrete fascia. So you click on it and click on move. Click on move here and come down here and click on this and move it up and drop it there. Now we can see our concrete fascia well. But the thickness of the roof is large. If I should dimension this thickness, you will have something like this. The thickness of this, the thickness of this roof is 300 millimeters. And where have you seen a roof as thick as this? The thickness of roofs are usually 0 0.5, 0 0.45, 0 0.4, and so on and so forth. So we are going to reduce the thickness. So I delete this. I click on the roof. The next thing I'm going to do is I go to, if, okay, even if you look at this place, if you look at the type selector box, you will see the thickness of the roof. It is 300 millimeters, which is too large. So I click on edit type. I go to duplicate. I duplicate it and make it, let's make it five and click OK. After clicking OK, I click on Edit. I want to add material to that roof now. When I click on Edit, I click on Under Material, I click on By Category, I click on this ellipsis. It will bring out the material browser because the roofing material is not here already. I'm going to create it by myself. I come here on this, on this ball. I click on this ball and I click on create new material. I click on create new material. It's going to bring default new material for me. I'm going to right click on it and click rename. When I click rename, I'm going to give it a name. 01 roof material. I'm going to put roof material 1 in case I may need to create another type of new uh, roof material that I may choose from thereby creating options for myself but for now i'm going i'm okay with zero one roof material one i'm adding these figures on them like zero one and one to differentiate them so i go to appearance you can see appearance here this is appearance click on appearance i come here this is called the replace assets icon i click on it i come here again you will see appearance here again double click on the appearance then I scroll down until I see roofing. You can see roofing here. I double click on the roofing. Then you can see different kinds of roofing materials. All these are different kinds of roofing materials. I scroll down. I scroll down. When I scroll down to select the one I want, I actually have two I normally use. I normally use this Spanish tile, brown color, or Spanish tile, red color. But for this very tutorial, let's use the red color. So I'm not going to click on the letters. I'm going to click on these two arrows. You can see these two arrows that are uh, facing each other in opposite direction. I click on this. Then I click OK. Then I click OK again. I click OK again. Then I click outside. OK, sorry, the thickness did not change because I did not affect the thickness. I click on it again and go to edit type. This time around, I'm not going to duplicate. I click on edit. Come to under thickness and click here. And, and um, I'm going to put five because it was five I selected that time. It was five I selected at, in, uh, at the initial point. So I click on it and click OK. You can see the roof thickness has come down now. Then I click outside. So you can see the roof with the material already positioned. So if I go to default 3D view, this is what we have. You can see this place is open because this is where we're going to have our gable wall. We are going to create a gable wall here. We are going to create our gable wall here. So this is where we are going to be ending today's class on how to create the roof. Thank you for watching and do not fail to subscribe to Afri Design Studios YouTube channel. Thank you. And remain blessed.